All right, so we'll get started with the uh, part two of uh, chapter six, which is using or sorry, referencing different cells and from different workbooks. So the first part, um, we've got this Better World 2016 file open, uh, the workbook file. Now we're going to open multiple workbooks at the same time. So we're going to click on uh, Marion and Richmond. change the arrangement in just a sec to open them all up, open all the workbooks that you need. Okay, and remember also um, to go to the summary. So you've got all the summary pages filled out. And also our Columbia, which we went back to, and make sure you're on the summary page for that. That is being grouped. Okay, so if that was grouped from the last time, uh, make sure it's not. So there's no groove up there. Okay, so now we're going to, how do we see all these all at once? Um, again, just one last check, just make sure all of the sheets are on summary. This one isn't, Better World isn't either. Okay, so this should be, all right, so they're all on summary now. Now we can do, we can arrange them. Um, there's a few ways to arrange them, but we're going to ch choose a, uh, so in the view tab, click arrange all, and we're going to pick tile, because it gives them um, all work, uh, the workbooks an equal width. Okay, so that looks like that. And you could press this little arrow here to give you a little bit more space. Takes out all the functions we don't need, and we can bring it back down if you want. But we're just going to put all of them up so we have more room. Okay, so once we're all that, so we need um, to get all the totals for this better world. So this is the summary sheet for all of the workbooks. So this recycling company is looking at different locations and then trying to get a summary for all of the locations. So we did the Columbia one last time, but let's say we created uh, two more called Richmond and Marion doing the exact same thing. Now we're going to have a summary of those summaries. Okay, so to begin our formula, so this is where we want we want the quarter one summary for each workbook. So we're going to type in equal. We'll go to the Columbia one first, which is this one, to make it the active workbook. Okay, and then we're going to click on B6. B6 for quarter one. Okay. So here you see the workbook range here, um, the worksheet in that workbook, the summary with the um, exclamation mark after, and then the absolute reference to that cell that we need. So you could have a different cell um, depending on where the quarter was in each workbook. But uh, for us it's going to be B6 throughout, so it may be less confusing. Um, so now we're going to just add, we're just going to add the other two as well doing the same thing. So now we're going to make the, see the formula right here, make this, click, click in this space for paper quarter one. I have to kind of click twice just to make sure it went through. And then plus again, and the quarter one paper totals for the last one here in the Marion workbook, workbook, double click, and you have your formula here, or up here, sorry. Okay, so we have, we're going to add those three together, press enter when you're done, and you get that number. Now we're going to do the same thing for quarter two. Now just like um, 3D references, um, once we get all the quarters just for paper, then we can copy, but we have to get do the same method. Uh, so we'll go to the Columbia first, we'll just do counterclockwise, starting with Columbia, Richmond, and then go to Marion. So we started off with equal in our summary sheet, double click this, add a plus sign, in the same cell, C6, double click in this workbook. Okay, you see your formula developing in the top right. And then take your mouse again. But now that we've added the plus symbol one more time, we double click on the quarter two. And there is our uh, formula right at the top. Okay, just press enter again, and then we have that. So just double check. Yes, C6, C6, C6 for all of them. Okay, so what, two more times uh, for quarter three, same thing, double click here, 
plus quarter three in this workbook plus and then quarter three in this workbook plus that. Okay, just make sure you haven't done it too many times and make sure so Columbia, Richmond, Marion, that's what we want. Enter and your work. And one more time in the quarter four, and then we can just copy down and make it easier. So click on quarter four. And then we'll add a plus. Quarter four again. Plus. And then quarter four. So make sure it's E6 this time for each one. We'll double check our formula. Marion, Richmond, Columbia, summary sheet. E6 with an absolute, absolute cell reference. Okay, now there's one thing that changed before we copy it down. You might have guessed it, but because we've used an absolute cell reference, um, it'll reference that cell and hold it. So, which means if we go down to the next, say if we go, so we took E6 for this one, D6, C6, B6. So if we keep that absolute cell reference there, it's going to copy the formula and keep that reference cell. We don't want it to stay in that cell. We want it to move down. But we've completed everything we need to along the columns, but not the rows. So what we need to do is change the formulas to um, a mixed formula where we grab onto the columns and we change the rows. So what that looks like is click on these three up here in the first one and just hit F4 twice. One, two. Let's see how it grabs the column. It won't let the column move. It'll keep the same column, but the row will change. Okay, because we're gonna go down. So we have to the row has to change, but the column stays the same. So F4 twice again here. F4 twice again here. Hit enter. Copy the copy the formula along. I'm sorry, no, we can't because it's a different workbook. Um, so we just do the same thing here. F4 again. F4 twice in the three cell references. And just make sure that the dollar sign is holding the column and not the row. Because we have to go down. We have to change the row but not the column. Okay, do the same thing for quarter three. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, I reverted that back. There we go. F4 twice. F4 twice again. And then F4 twice again for all those cell references. Okay, so it should look like that. So every time you fix the formula, don't forget to press enter or it'll be a hard time. So enter. Four for each cell reference. And again, press enter. It's almost like re entering the formula again. And then F4, F4 twice. And just really double check those numbers to make sure that column is, is holding and the row isn't. 